Cheesemonger's Hollow? What a name. Where's all the cheese at? Smell how quaint. A mortal. Has skill? The Cheeses of Tamriel? By Master Chef Gilbard Laroque. If you are like me, the very word cheese stirs you. Maybe you recall meals shared with family and friends, favorite dishes in the cold of winter, or a simple snack in the shade of a tree while traveling. I'm here to tell you how much more there is to cheese than you ever realized. Join me on a journey across Tamriel and discover a breadth of culinary experience you've never imagined. Let's start simple. Ida cheese. Popular in Skyrim is eaten by the Nords alongside hearty spit roasted meals. They do not share the refined approach to cuisine that we Bretons take, but I have discovered that Ada's rich earthy flavor and creamy texture are quite conducive to sauces, dried with poultry dishes, or paired with young colaquiva. Okay. <laughs> Haskill. Well, what is it? Here for some noble purpose, no doubt. I'm here for Archmage Shalador. I've been sent to retrieve some books. Spell books? How pedestrian. As it happens, I'm feeling particularly charitable at present. I'll allow you to enter. After. After what? After a test of your resolve. This isn't a lending library. If you want the spell books, you'll have to earn them. A portal has been opened, just behind you. Close it, and I'll grant you passage. I'm ready. Close the portal if you can, though you may want to deal with those scamps first. Oh, that I can deal with? <laughs> Sniper shot. Sniper shot. They're little. They too do take a bit of damage. Seducer so can't throw it down. More scamps. Heavy shot. Dead eye. Interesting. Well, I suppose. Wasn't impressed by that? That was unexpectedly competent. You'd make an adequate house servant. I don't suppose you'd consider it. The pay is meager, but the fringe benefits are appalling. <laughs> what? Uh, no thanks. I've only come for the books. Pity. The tomes you seek are beyond the door at the top of the stair. Once you're outside, follow the path. It's got a nice little checker pattern happening over here. Thank you, Askill. Just doing the master's will. I will open the door for you. Oh, and mind the scamps. The little imps adore fresh flesh. Such children. Right. Right this way. It's a heavy bag there, but... And please, try not to make a mess of things. But I'm running a little bit low on space. Even after all those bag upgrades. Happy adventuring. I'm so glad we've had this time together. One must usually go to a public execution for conversation of this caliber. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, just one of the many shrines to my lord. The common rabble know it as Cheesemonger's Hollow. Shea Gorath is fond of it, but rarely graces it with his presence. Who are you? I am Lord Shea Gorath's Chamberlain. I handle his affairs and look after the Shivering Isles while his lordship is away. The Shivering Isles? Are you lost? Do you know nothing of the place you've come to? The Shivering Isles are Lord Sheogorath's realm in oblivion. To tell you more would, as my lord puts it, 
spoil all the fun. Thanks. Alright. So we're not in Cheesemonger's Hollow yet. Explore the hollow below. Some bananas and beef. Axe hit that thing. And he fell down. Oh, there's a scare. They do, they do uh, certainly resist quite a bit. Quite resilient. Pretty sure those two would have been taken down by my ultimate. Where it's a scamp. Requires a few more hits. What's this all about? Knives, 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 and a head. Take that. So our bow, got to be close to getting new. Ah, here we go, we got volley. Launch a multitude of arrows into the sky to rain down, dealing 664 physical damage to enemies. Every second for eight seconds, after a two second delay. Well, the arrow's got to go up first, right? What's the next one? Rank four, ah, okay. Fair bit to go. We also got some passives. Increase your damage done by 2% against enemies 15 meters or closer. Ah. Up close and personal. Rather than sitting at the back. Oh, oh, someone to play with you! Got Ripper. Weird. They're like little pools or something. Let's go, Gut Ripper. Well, I'd like to say that actually did some serious damage, but not really. Gotcha. Take the tomes. How the Kwama lost his shoes. Okay. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Shogorath. Why? <laughs> Speak up! Honesty is the best policy! As far as you know. <laughs> I'm here to recover four tomes for Shalador. 
Shalinor? Oh, that pompous Nord and I go way back. I know what he wants. Indeed, I do. Ha, his island. He wants to steal it back. <laughs> How I love a challenge. Right. I'll just take them with me then. Now, where's the sport in that? I tell you what. I'll give you one buck in exchange for your heart or lungs. Your choice. No, wait. I have a better idea. Let's have a contest. A contest wrapped in a mystery with an enigma glaze. Oh, what fun we'll have. What kind of contest? A few tasks. The odd death trap. Nothing so difficult to say reassembling the Staff of Chaos or rebuilding the new Midium. <laughs> Take the first book, Puppy Killer, and I'll give you an additional book for each test you pass. Are you game? I suppose it's a deal. Excellent! Cheese and cabbage for everyone! But wait, we should inform Shalidorable of our deal. With any luck, he'll die of embarrassment all over again. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it works. I can't wait to see the look on his face. If it's precious enough, I might hang it on the wall. What's the meaning of this? Shehukorath! You remember. Ah, Shalador. You never ride, you never visit. Just now I made a deal with your lackey here. How long have you wanted those books? Eternity? Your deals are hardly fair. What farce have you contrived this time? Think of it as an adventure! <laughs> and don't worry, I've got a surprise for you too. I put a tiny curse on these books, just a small one. Long story short, Shal, you can never read these books. Curse you, mad god! Boring! Be more imaginative, Shal. Like, curse you, mad god! May you become cheese eternally gnawed by skeevers! Unfortunately, I have no more time for constructive criticism. Do stay in touch. Shalador? Curse the Mad God. I don't know what game he's playing with you, but I do know the stakes. Well, at least we have one tome. That's true. Though without my help, it will take Velast considerably longer to translate it. I'd like you to return and let her know the bad news. No tell her. I'll send you back to Tamriel then. Are you ready? I'm ready. She is. If you came for crafting certification, I can assist you. You radiate an aura of power. Does this mean you have the books? Only one. Chiagorath is going to make us pass tests to the others. Tests? Well, that's a start, I suppose. What of Shalador? He was drawn away from here in a burst of light. Chiagorath summoned him. Not good. Not good. I'll start translating this right away, but I hope Shalador returns to help. Shigarath cursed the tome. Shalador can't read it. Xarxas is backside. Then this is going to take a while. Check in at a guild hall from time to time. I'll leave word for you when I've finished. No will. In the meantime, keep an eye out during your travels. There are many lost tomes scattered throughout Tamriel. Who knows, any one of these books may help us restore Shalador's lost island haven. The Amulet of Ivea? Magic re Recovery? Pardon me, I must begin this translation. These runes? Fascinating. Alright. Oh, she had something else to say. Oh, I had something to say. Pardon me, I must begin this translation. These runes? Fascinating. The last, about Shiagorath. Terrifying, isn't he? The will and attention of a child with the power of a Daedric Prince. Is he always like that? Well, look on the bright side. You're still upright on two legs. You're not inside out or bright purple or afflicted with new angry limbs. It could be worse. <laughs> bright purple? I'll take the angry limbs over being bright purple. Alright, so I guess we'll leave that aside for a while. Um, which is good because I need to sell a few things. 
Reeves of the Weird Tree. Let's see, we've got a medium armor. Medium armor on me. Throw that on. Reduce the spell cost. I'm actually casting too many spells, am I? Alright, let's go see if we can... Uh, train some of that. Let's go talk to the stable master. Wild dogs have filled the streets of Camelot. It's My like horse. Increase that speed. 9%. Drop by here real quick. Anything to train? Train and break things down. Oh, another distraction. When you visit the shops in Mark. And then we're gonna go find Bum Nog. Talk to Bum Nog. He needs a talking to. Still so many look at all the arrows everywhere. So much to do. Blacksmith basics. Do some research. Nothing to research. Everything to break down. Blacksmithing station over here. Defending Precision Let's research that Break it all down Okay, you sir Steal it We put hammered it You sir, I'd like to sell a few things Now, for the rest of it, I like to put all my material, crafting materials, into my bank. There's the bank over here, the Bank of Daggerfall. For later use. Everybody's lined up, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I ain't lining up for nothing. Welcome to the Bank of Daggerfall. So I go to the bank, I go to deposit, select my materials and just start pressing E. Start spamming E. Now, for those of you that have ESO Plus, you don't have to worry about this. It just goes into your crafting bag. But for those of you that don't have it, this is a good way of storing those many materials. And now my inventory space is 35 out of 90. There's, I'm sure there's a lot more that I could sell and so on. But that'll do for now. Okay, let's go find Bum Nog. But I want to do all these quests here, so I don't want to go too far away. Ah, uh, Noggo. We'll get out the fr- oh, actually, that's right, I can do a- I can use the way Shrine. Ah, uh, we could, but this would probably be quicker. Because on the way out, we actually went past a whole bunch of other quests as well. So Bum Nog's over there. I wonder if I should stay here and work on all these things. Ah, uh, we'll do this first. I told the guy I was going to do it, I should Don't do it. Start any trouble. I'll do that quest and we'll come back to Daggerfall. <laughs> Sky Shard absorbed. See that little torch there? That's a delve. Like a little open dungeon. Go into Ilesan Tower discovered. Ilesan. Ah! 
bunch of side quests out here. Where are you, Noggo? Oh, here he is. You're going to help me find the rest of the daggers? Hmm. I'm not sure you're dagger material. Your hands look kind of soft and delicate. Like you've never beaten anything into submission with your own two fists before. Just tell me what's going on here. The daggers were hired to help Lord Deal gather research about the harpies. We get him what he needs and we get paid. Simple as pie. But now the rest of the daggers are missing. We need to find them and make sure our first mission is a success. This is the dagger's first job? Everyone has to start someplace. Even the Fighters Guild had a first mission, didn't they? Who are you to judge? Now let's get out there and do what we're getting paid for. Let's find the daggers and bring back their research. What kind of research are we talking about? Harpies, eggs, whatever we can bring back so Lord Deal can figure out why these birds have become so violent lately. And what do we need to do? We have to find the missing daggers. Gelvin, our leader, and the Remley brothers. We find them and help them finish their jobs. And while we're at it, we look for the Queen Birdie, Fowling. She's a vicious killer and she needs to be dealt with. Done. This way? So they're up top, I guess. So we'll go around this way. And here are the harpies. Bum dog. What? <laughs> Why are you punching things, dude? You said I'm not sure if I'm ready to be dagger. If I'm dagger material, where's your daggers? His daggers are his hands. Oh, see how it was like that little thin stretch there as I was running over. That was a sky shard. That little split there of sky between the two rocks. Two stones there. What in Malakoth's name is he tangled up in? Thank you, old friend. Thought I was going to become bird food before you got here. Galvin? Um, hello. <laughs> that was a bit of a predicament. The Remley brothers do set a good trap, I must say. That one trust me up tight. But now that you're here... Wait a moment. Who are you? Lord Dio hired me to help the daggers. Help? The daggers don't need any... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm the leader of the daggers and we don't have a clue as to what we're doing out here. If you're willing, we'd appreciate any help you care to provide. Sure. What do you want me to do? I was collecting unhatched harpy eggs to bring back to camp. One of the things Lord Deal needs to complete his research. I got one egg, but we need to collect a few more. Where can I find harpy eggs? In the nests above. Be gentle with them. I don't want the hatchlings to come to any harm. I'm going to rest a moment and then head back to camp. With the gold his lordship pays us, the daggers can really make a go of this mercenary thing. We should start by giving Bumnog some daggers. That guy's certainly got some daggers. Look around here. Harpy down, harpy egg. That's two. Mess. Mess of feathers. Feathers and fury. Zero eggs. Yeah, it's a bit of a funny ability, isn't it? Because you kind of got to stand in your own volley of arrows. Because otherwise, as soon as you cast it, the enemy's just going to move out. 
Which makes sense. You would if you were that. You wouldn't stay in a volley. Unless Bumnog tank him. In the volley. Yeah, he's got a hard head. The true nature of orcs. Orcs were born during the latter days of the Dawn Era. History has mislabeled them beast folk, related to the goblin races, but the orcs are actually the children of Trinimac, strongest of the Arpmeri ancestor spirits. When Trinimac was eaten in the Daedric Prince, Bothia, Bothia, and transformed in that foul god's insides, the orcs transformed as well. The ancient name of the orcs is Orsima, Orsima, which means the pariah folk. They now follow Marlock, the remains of the Trinimac. Who is Marlock? He is more commonly known as the Daedric Prince Malakath, whose sphere is the patronage of the spurn and ostracized, the sworn oath, and the bloody curse. He is not technically a Daedric Lord, nor do the other Daedra recognize him as much such. But this is fitting for the sphere. Of old he was Trinimac, the champion of the High Elven Pantheon, in some places more popular than Oriel, who protected them against enemies without and within. When Trinimac and his followers attempted to halt the Velothi dissident movement, but Thyre ate him, Trinimac's body and spirit were corrupted, and he emerged as Malakath. His followers were likewise, likewise changed for the worse, despised by everyone, especially the inviolate uh, Oriel. They quickly fled to the northern waste near Sarthal. They fought Nords in Kaima for a place in the world, but did not get much. In Skyrim, Malakath is called Orki, or Old Knocker, and his battles with Ismir are legendary. Directive, this vile anti-orc propaganda, though traditional, is now banned throughout the Daggerfall Covenant. Administrators see to it. Gotcha. Where are the Remley brothers? Remley, 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 over here. Ooh, that's a drop. That's not as bad. I always find trying to keep track of all these gods and then, you know, the different races call their gods the same god, different names. Trying to keep track of who's who and who's what's what. Very difficult. Alright. Freshly picked bones. This is a fresh kill. Be alert. Whatever did this could be watching us. That guy? Oh, there's a sky shot over there. How in the eight do you expect to trap a flying harpy with a trap set on the ground? You're an idiot. You know that, right? You know I hated when you yell at me, brother. Now calm down and help me figure out how to get a harpy to trip a wire on the ground. I see the problem now. <laughs> Looks like we found the Remley brothers. Yep. 